we're going to find the slope and y-intercept of a line by looking at its equation. So first of all, y equals mx plus b is called the slope-intercept form of a line. The slope, m, that's the coefficient of x, and b, that's the constant term, which is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept, which remember is really an ordered pair, 0b. So if we have a line in that form, it's fairly simple. So let's look at these three examples first. y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. It's in the correct form here. So m equals negative 2 thirds. And the y-intercept, remember, for the intercepts, that means the y-intercept, then the x-coordinate is 0, and then this number 4 is the um, b will be the y-coordinate. And you can see when you put in 0 for this equation for x, you would just get y equals 4. So that's why that makes sense. What about this one, y equals x? It doesn't quite look like it's in that form, but it can be written so you can see m and b. You could think of it as 1x plus 0, y equals 1x plus 0. And then you can note that the slope is just the number 1. And the y-intercept, well, when you put in 0 for x, you get 0, which, of course, is this number over here that you see. So remember to get the y-intercept, all you do is put in 0 for x. All right, now what about this, y equals 5, 6? Hmm, you can't even see the x, so that means the coefficient of x must have been 0. So if you rewrote that as y equals 0 times x plus 5, 6, then we can see that the slope is 0 in this one. And then, of course, again, the y-intercept, you're putting in 0 for the x, and you get 5, 6. It's always this constant here. So once you put it in this form, you can identify the slope and y-intercept. What about if it's not in that form? All right, so let's find the slope and y-intercept of 8x plus 18y equals negative 21. Now that's not in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form equals, not equals, but it's in this form y equals mx plus b. So we need to take this equation and solve for y so it looks like that. So we take 8x plus 18y equals negative 21. And first we'll subtract 8x from both sides of the equation. So if I subtract 8x, now instead of writing negative 21 minus 8x, I'm going to put that before the constant because in y equals mx plus b form, the x term is the first thing after the equal sign. So I have negative 8x minus 21. And now to divide by 18, remember we have to do all the terms by 18 on both sides. So once we do that, we'll get something in the right form. So I have negative 8x over 18. Now let's reduce that fraction and write it as a coefficient of x. So it's going to be negative. Let's see, 2 goes into both of those numbers. So I have negative 4 ninths x minus, and we have 21 eighteenths. See, I think we can um, simplify that, dividing both by 3. So 7, 6. So now I have it in the right form. I see that the slope, the coefficient of x, is negative 4 ninths. Now, just keep in mind, b is negative 7, 6, but b isn't an ordered pair. Usually when you talk about the y-intercept, we're going to write the ordered pair. So when you put in 0 for x, you get negative 7, 6. So that's the y-intercept, 0, negative 7, 6. Now, if you only wanted to find the y-intercept, you could have done this problem a little bit different. So I could have just started off with 8x plus 18y equals negative 21. And in order to get the y-intercept, remember what we do? We let x equals 0. So in 8x plus 18y equals negative 21, you could just put in 0 for x, and you have 18y equals negative 21. And then when we divide both sides by 18, we're going to get that negative 7, 6. So keep in mind, when x was 0, y was negative 7, 6. So that means the y-intercept was 0, negative 7, 6. Of course, 
I see that over here since I solved for y and put it in slope-intercept form. So I could have gotten the y-intercept either way.